Hey guys, hope everybody is doing wonderful today. Um, so I'm waiting on Bray to get his glasses. Uh, he had a little mishap with his glasses, so he's in there getting them repaired. And so I wanted to talk today about potential. Um, first of all, for those of you that don't know, know who I am, I'm Carla Nicole, I'm a wisdom coach. And right now I'm working on um, assisting and helping to restore relationships. Um, a lot of times we don't realize some major things within relationships aren't doing so good. So I'm gonna talk about, about some things today. So I'm gonna keep it brief because I don't have a lot of time. But um, I wanna talk about potential. So um, we as women have a tendency to get backlash for being um, drawn into a man um, and in his potential and as time moves on a lot of times um, the, the potential doesn't actually become um, fulfilled um, and then a lot of times uh, we as women will look back and say, yeah, you know, I did kind of get caught up in a man and his potential because I thought he was going to be this because of what he said, or he said he was going to do this, or he said he wanted to aspire to become this, or he said he had goals and his goals um, he laid out in front of me sounded very good. And so um, I got excited about it. I was uh, very, um, intrigued by it because he had um, some true thought in what he wanted to be and um, and so a lot of times it's crucial as a woman that when you are involved with a man that has a, a lot already laid out in his potential as to what he wants to do and, and be a lot of times we as women uh, tend to you know get a little disappointed if he does not aspire or does not meet his goals or does not become what he says he, he wants to become. And so, of course, um, when we look back, we're thinking that, oh my God, you know, I was drawn into a man's potential and maybe that wasn't a good thing. Um, or I was drawn into a man's promises and maybe that wasn't such a good thing. But I want to tell you something that I think we're not thinking about. When you come into the presence of a man as a woman, um, it's vitally important we understand that we gift life. We carry children. We gift life, okay? So what does that mean? That means something that is very powerful in our feminine energy and in our feminine presence, okay? So we as women gift life. And I'm saying this because it's very important we understand and understand that we gift life. So if a man in your presence that you're attracted to or drawn to or, or, or connected with, you find out that this man has dreams, has desires, has a drive to become the best version of himself. And in his vision that he sees and projects, he's going to tell you what he sees, what he projects, what his goals are. As a woman, we have to realize our power can assist him in helping that to come to fruition. Because in our feminine power, we have the ability to help him to birth that. So when a man shares with you his vision, his potential, his goals, those things are give, gifted to you as a woman not to become the person to do those things for him. But that is a gift to you to say, listen, I entrust my vision and my potential with you because I see in you that you can help me bring this to life. Is that making sense to everybody? Women, we have, a, we have the ability to bring life to a man. We also have the ability to bring death to him as well. So when a man comes to you and says, here are my goals. Here's the strategies I want to put forth. Here's the things that I want to do. And you say, okay, I can see that as well. And I can help you to do those things. Then wonderful. 
But if you're sitting before this man that's giving you all of the things he's wanting to do, and you really cannot see it in your own sight, please say something to him. I, I, I don't get it all, or I can't see it, or please help me to see it because I'm not on the same page with you. I'm not sure of how you're going to get there. I mean, what does this mean to me? Uh, why do you entrust your vision and your um, um, strategy and your, your, your desires? Why do you entrust that with me? Get it on the table now because when a man conveys to you and tells you, listen, this is what I want to become as a man, and he entrusts that vision and that desire to you, you, on the other hand, he entrusts to bring it to life. Just like when a man gives you sperm, you give him a baby, it's the same thing. He's giving you his vision. Now he's now you're going to help him to bring it to life if you're the woman that he so entrusts to do that with. But you also have to understand that when a man gives you his vision, his desires, that doesn't mean that you take over the vision and you try to create it. No. You become parallel with him. But what does that mean? That means that you don't become intrusive. You don't become someone that's doing too much. You allow him to still be driven, but you also encourage. One of the things that I'm learning through my coaching practice is that men love encouragement as much as or more than sex. This is the truth. And it's something because a lot of times we don't want to talk about the truth. The truth is men love encouragement they love a woman to see their vision they love a woman to be encouraging them for what they need and what they want so if you have the vision from the man that's gifting it to you know that you are the woman he chose to give it to now you have the ability as the woman you have the ability to bring his pot potential to fruition but first you have to look at yourself and say can I do this? And and I, I'm honored that he chose me. But as a woman, can I do this? And am I willing to? And do I see the vision? And do I do I see the vision, number one? And can I fall in love with the vision? Can I be a part of the vision? Or not? Because that's something that's also important. See, when a man and when a man and you connect and you decide to be with that man, it's not just about physical. It's not just about sexual. It's not just about what he's doing for you and how many gifts he's buying you and how many times you go on trips and all of that. Those are nice things. But, but the truth of the matter is, what really matters is what are you birthing in the relationship for him and you to grow together as one. So I wanted to share this with you because I think a lot of times we're missing it and we're oftentimes thinking that if we fall for a man's potential, that we're falling um, in love with something that's not real. That's not true. We need to stop thinking that a man's potential is not real. A man's potential is presented to you and it is shown to you at that point. So if you see potential in a man, you can help bring that birth to life. Because you have the capability. A man is not going to share with you his vision. He's not going to share with you his desires. He's not going to share with you his goals if he doesn't see in you a woman that he can trust. Okay? So I'm just giving you some real truth right here. He is not going to share those things with you if he doesn't see trust, uh, trust between you and him. He's not going to do that. So what is important? Is that you sit back and you understand and understand a man shares certain things with a woman he can trust and a man shares certain things with a woman that he knows can help him to become the better man okay this is why we're losing sight in relationships because we're spending a lot of time wondering and concerned about all this other stuff that doesn't really mean a hill of beans women often think that men only want sex sex is great and everything trust me men do love sex but what he loves as much as or more so a lot of times is a woman to encourage him i've had more men cry to me more men ex expressing how appreciative they are for me to be in their life because they sat back and said because of you I was able to sit outside and think about some things that I wouldn't have thought about had I not shared my vision and my mission with you and you didn't take it to destroy me. 
you took it and you said, let's, let's create some ways to encourage you. How can we do better? What do you need? How do we fix this? How do we make this happen? That's our power as women. Our power as women is our feminine energy, our feminine presence can bring a man into his gratefulness. I'm telling you, not only is he grateful, but he's, he's also great in himself because of you. Because again, we as women bring life. So, <clears throat> so again, always remember, a man's potential is not something to be like, oh, I should have never fell for his potential. Because really, a man's potential can be presented to you in its infancy state. You, on the other hand, coming to the table as a woman to a man that's telling you his mission, telling you what he wants to do, showing his, his desire, showing you his goals, tells you, listen, this is what I'm trying to accomplish and do. Are you going to be a woman that, if I'm sharing this with you, I'm sharing it with you for a reason. That's number one, okay? And the number two thing is, not only just that, you also want to think about, well, if this man is sharing this with me, um, we as women have to understand we cannot create his mission and vision for him. He must do that on his own. But if we are someone that is a light to him, we're someone that's encouraging and we're someone that's accessible and we're always readily available to help him improve what he's trying to do, he's going to reach out and really trust us the more we do these things. So it's very important that we step back and say, well, it's not always about potential being a bad thing. Sometimes men aren't where they want to be yet when they first meet you. But you, on the other hand, is the missing link to his greatness. Does that make sense? You are the missing link to his greatness. Men that have powerful women in their life, women encouraging their mission, women that have their back, women that devote their time and, and understanding, those women help to what pursue help him to move and get into his greatness we cannot think that we are um just a helpmate that is not true we as women are not just helpmates we also have our own visions and our own missions and our own things we need to focus on for ourselves also so again self-love is still essential in love affairs you have to have a badass love affair with yourself as well as a badass love affair with him. But first of all, you have to know, am I, am I equipped to be his, his main person in his life, to be his significant other, to be his partner for life? Am I, am I equipped to be that? You got to ask yourself that because a lot of times we just like what he looks like. We like what he does for us. We like what he's, what he comes with and how comfortable our life is because he's here. That's all well and fine, but when it comes down to it, when it really comes down to when the love life is in the balance, he's going to care more about how much you encourage him. How, how, what are you bringing to the table as a woman? How are you bringing his visions and his, his desires to life? What are you doing to help him become more of a man and more in power? Power couples mean that both, both parties are powerful they're full of life okay so because of that that's what helps to make these things happen okay so again i wanted to share this with you because i think it's vitally important that we understand that the potential we have for our lovers is very great and important however we can bring the best potential out of a man through understanding through being an asset not by just being a helpmate Helpmates means I'm just going to keep picking your bags up and chasing behind you. That's not what a man needs. A man needs encouraged. A man needs a woman to really sit down and try to help him st strategically provide information. She, you know, it's a lot of things a man needs besides you just helping him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to give you this real, real quick. I'm out of here. I got to get back to work. But listen, share this video. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my, my uh, YouTube channel. Do that today. Wiz Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel is my YouTube channel. So make sure to um, subscribe to that as well. Again, share this video. Somebody needs to hear it. All right? I'm out of here, guys. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a great day. Bye.